We knew going in this was going to be a uh, – we played Troy a lot of times, and they're very traditionally a very good program, and we knew that there's going to be a battle tonight heading into this. And obviously elimination game, we've had a lot of battles with them in the past. Uh, a, lot, a lot of respect for their program and, and Coach Pierce and, and what they do. Um, you know, obviously for us, uh, we got off to a, a very good start. Uh, Chandler was uh, outstanding tonight in the strike zone when he wanted to, out of the strike zone when he wanted to. Uh, we had some early outs. It got us back in the dugout. We had some tempo, and it kind of fed our offense. Uh, and then we started putting together quality at bat after quality at bat. It was pretty fun, pretty fun to see uh, for the team. I mean, I just. I just went in the game with the mentality to just throw up some zeros and give the offense a chance to get ahead. I just went out there, took it pitch by pitch, and it just turned out to be a pretty good outing. I mean, I mean it feels good. I mean, anytime you hit a home run, especially if you don't hit very many, you know, it's a lot of fun. And uh, just tonight, this Chandler is great, and the hitters were great. It's just a fun night of baseball. I just went out there trying to fill up the zone. I wasn't going to try and do too much. I was just going to try and work low in the zone. And uh, I really didn't throw that much off speed. A couple change-ups, a few curveballs, but I was predominantly fastball low. And they were just doing, I, I mean, I can't thank the defense more. And then the offense was fantastic tonight to let me do what I did. I, like I said, just fastball low. I was just going to let them put it in play and let the defense work. I wasn't going to go out there and try and do too much in a do or die situation. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, last year, I was lucky enough to get the start in a do or die situation in the conference tournament, and it didn't go the way I wanted it to. So I, I wanted, I was thirsty for some more. I, I wanted to do better a second time. Well, I mean, just as many times we've played Troy this year, I've seen a lot of breaking balls. And the uh, first two pitches were breaking balls, so, I mean, I was just kind of tired of seeing them all. So, finally got one I liked and just hit it out. No, no, I was just trying to, you know, hit some hard up the middle, and it was just the ball was carrying out the left a little bit. So, I uh, just luckily got out. You know, we just we went into it just wanting to move on to another day. Coach said it before the game. He said, just push it to another get day. Uh, have a short-term goal, and we reached it. it. We just, I felt like we were a lot more relaxed today. Sometimes we were uptight, but today I feel like all around we were relaxed. Outstanding. If you had to draw it up any better in an elimination game to try to get to the next day, you know, uh, pitch count, uh, seven inning ball game. Uh, there are a lot of good things that were productive for us to be able to push it to another day. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we felt, um, uh, you know, when you got some early outs and early action, supply balls like you talked about, Matt, uh, you know, that was good to get our offense. I thought the tempo I talked like yesterday, I felt like we were playing on our heels a lot the first two games and finally it switched on us when Bradley Wallace went one, two, three, four innings a row yesterday and I think Chandler kind of picked up on that and it kind of fed the uh, offense a little bit for us uh, and then I, I thought it got the other team opponent a little bit on their heels a little bit too.
Well, obviously, if you lose game one and you, you spin some pitch, and then uh, you need some very good outings to kind of get back in it. Uh, we know that tomorrow is, you know, another elimination day uh, for us. And um, uh, it helps. I think it helps uh, the rest of the staff to get another day. Uh, the guys that pitched two days ago and whatnot. So uh, Coach Dickinson's done a good job of trying to get these guys ready, specifically starting about two weeks ago, kind of getting them ready for a tournament because you, know, you just don't know where you're going to be placed if you're a 2-0 and team or if you're fighting your way through, how are you going to try to do it? Uh, and so you're trying to get your pitchers all an opportunity and then get them ready for the tournament too. Well, every little bit helps. And tomorrow is another do or die day for us. Uh, we're facing a very good opponent that's very hot. Um, you know, I think they won 18 of their last, shoot, they're 18 and six after we played them in the conference. And they've added two more in the tournament. So uh, they're playing very well. Uh, you know, they've done a good job. Coach Thomas has done a wonderful job of, of uh, putting them in a great position for this tournament. Well, I thought it was some quality at bats. I thought our guys did a good job at the plate, back to back to back, and you start to string them. And most of the time, when you see offenses do well, whether it's your opponents or whether it's yours, uh, they're able to do that in a row. Yeah, and consequently, a lot of times, if you get four or five in a row, you'll see a lot of run production. Uh, sometimes, if the chain is broken, uh, that can be very difficult for the uh, to score runs. So we saw that tonight, and I think it really helped our team. No, I just think that's just part of how we play offense. I just think that's, you know, it's, you know, I think that's something we try to do is to uh, put the game in situations where, you know, the other team's got to make plays. Coach, do you, you talk about just kind of like the guys kind of loosen up, they even mention it a little bit. For, for them at the plate, you kind of see it was more laid back to them. They weren't pressing so much at the plate. What can that building off of today, 12 does in a short, a short game, do for you guys tomorrow moving forward? Well, I Obviously, you feel better about yourself. Uh, you know, really, though, it goes back to you know your opponent. Is uh, momentum is only as good as your starting pitcher, their starting pitcher. Uh, we know we'll face some very good starting pitching tomorrow, and they got a very good backside the pen. Um, but it's just going to have to be a, a, you know pitch by pitch for us as we go into tomorrow, because uh, we can't think ahead way ahead. Uh, we're in a position where it's just got to be one inning at a time, pitch by pitch, and try to try to get things to work out. We'll see. We'll talk about it. I mean, obviously, I mean, we have some options and, uh, um, you know, they're a very good lineup to go through, uh, let alone two, three, four times. Uh, we'll talk about that tonight. And obviously it's going to be a, um, uh, you know, it's going to be a battle out there. Well, it's interesting uh, you mentioned that. I think we play like four or five double headers this year. I mean, because of our weather back in Jonesboro, it's going to be kind of, you know, crummy on some of those weekends. And so we've been through some double headers. Um, you know, it, it's uh, it's mentally and physically taxing. But to get to a double header, you got to really play well in game one. I mean, really, that, you know, you, you got to play well in game one. We respect our opponent. And you play the game out and see what happens, and then we'll go from there. Uh, but really, it's, it's game one tomorrow, and that's what it's all about. And uh, what the score will dictate what happens on game two.